Okay, welcome students to the second lesson, uh, Reflections and Stretches and Compressions, or slash Stretches and Compressions. Um, so in this case, we're, we're going to keep going with the, the whole transformation. So we're taking an original graph, so this is an original graph, and we're making changes to it. Um, so let's start with the first couple. So we're going to take this, like I said, as our original graph, and we're going to sketch two f of x. Well, you guys might remember, while well, y is equal to f of x, that's like basically y and f of x are the same, right? So if you have 2 times f of x, you're basically multiplying the y values by 2. So notice the y values over here are 2. Actually, I can go down here. That's our ghost graph. Okay, so here you have a value of 2. You're going to multiply that by 2. So these points now become over here and over here. Okay, this y value over here is 0, so 2 times 0 is 0. So that one doesn't move because the y value is 0. And the y value over here is 1, so times 2 is 2. And here's your new graph. So the new graph would be something like this. If you wanted to verify another point, just for example, the y value was 1 here, now the y value is 2. So there's your new graph. So just to, so this is times y, oops, go times, well, let's erase this, sorry about that. Let's go times y by 2. I don't know if that's well written, but that's fine. Okay, so, and you could probably guess what's going to happen over here. Here you have one half of f of x. So another way to write this would be or f of x divided by 2. This would be the same thing. Okay, so th there would basically be a coefficient of 2 here. Here we have a coefficient of 1 half. So you're dividing all the y values by 2, quite simply. So you divide y by 2. Okay, in this case, the y values over here are 2. So now they become 1. So all the y values become 1. The y value is 0, so that point doesn't change. The y value is 1, so now the y value is a half. And here is our graph. And again, for another point, the y value is 1, it's now a half. And there's your graph. Okay? So, just to use some of the vocabulary, um, we call this a vertical stretch. E, stretch by a factor of 2. And, as you can maybe guess, this would be a vertical compression. As you kind of squeeze it all together, so it's a compression by a factor of 2. And when you say a factor, it means a multiplication, right? So by saying compression, you're dividing. Okay? All right, page two. So again, we're going to take our original function, y equals f of x, as our parent graph. So we're going to work with this graph, and we're going to make transformations to it. Notice that the number is now inside of the bracket. Okay? So... Uh, it's a little bit opposite of what was in the y uh, when it was outside the bracket. In this case, oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, in this case, with this 2, what's going to happen is that's 2 times x. So you would think you multiply all the x values by 2. But it's actually the opposite, and we can get into that in the classroom if you'd like. But for now, basically take it as this is going to divide, divide the x values by 2. Okay? So if you were to make, come make this graph, so just taking a look at the point. So we had the point here, the point 2, 2. And like I said, I divide the x values by 2. So the point is at 2, 2. The, not, the new point's going to be at 1, 2. Because the x value, right, the x value here is, is divided by 2. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the point over here when x is 0, well, if x is 0 and you divide it by 2, it's still 0. So nothing changes. 
And then on the last point, the value of x over here is negative 2, y is 0. So now the new point is going to be negative 1. And connect the dots. And that's our new graph. Okay? <clears throat> In the second one, you hopefully can guess what's going to happen. This is a division by 2, and that's with multiplication by 2. And what did we do? We divided x by 2. And in the second one, well, we are going to multiply x, <laughs> sorry, that looks a little weird, by 2. Again, these are just quick notes for us to memorize, right? And our graph, again, we have the point 2, 2. So the, the x multiplies by 2. It does the opposite, right? So now the point goes 4, 2. So that's the first point. The value at 0 doesn't change. And the value at negative 2, 0, doubles. So now we're at negative 4. And we have that. Uh, should be that, I think. Um, if you notice another point, just take a look. We have the point 2, 0. That is the double of the point 1, 0 that was here. So we doubled this point to 2, 0. Okay, so the note here that I want to write, I just want to make reference that whenever the number is inside the bracket, and that follows for the addition and subtraction as well, all you got to do is do the opposite. So, uh, when, um, sorry, we're going to write coefficient, when coefficient is inside, that's the important word, uh, the bracket, you do the opposite. Opposite operation, I would call it. Okay? Okay, and the last thing I want to add is I want to make sure that we get the vocabulary again. So this would be um, a horizontal compression. So notice that the graph has all got compressed, and this would be by a factor of 2. And as you can tell, the graph here got larger, right, longer. So this is a horizontal stretch. by also a factor of 2 because, well, we multiplied it by 2. All right, next up, reflections. Okay, in reflections, um, again, we're going to start with a current graph of f of x, uh, just graph of we chose, and we're going to sketch the following graphs. So notice that there's a negative in front of the f of x. So again, this is our y value, and if you put a negative in front of the y, all the y values will change from positive to negative. Okay, so again, I have the parent graphs. That should help us a little bit. So all the negative y values become positive, and all the positive y values become negative. So points that won't change, whenever y is equal to 0. Notice those points won't change. Okay, the y values here are all positive, so now they're all going to become negative. So we're going to have this point, and we're going to have that, and that. And then, over here, these y values that are negative, they become positive. So, it's going to look something like this. Okay? And so that's a reflection, and we're going to call that, and we'll name it now since we're here. Okay, so this is called a reflection. So if you look at the original graph, it's just a mirror image along the x-axis. So this is called a reflection over the x axis. Okay? And in the second one, well, the, the negative is attached to the x. So, pretty natural that the x and uh, the x values become positive or negative depending on what they are. So, for this point, then the point negative 2 0 becomes the point 2 0. So, you have this point. Notice the point on the y axis won't change because the y value uh, sorry, the x value of 0 doesn't change. And here, this point is the point 1, negative 1. It's now become the point negative 1, negative 1. 2, 
negative 1 becomes negative 2, negative 1. And you have this graph. Okay, so it's an absolute reflection. Again, if you look at it cl closely, you notice that this part reflected over this line, and then this part reflected over this line. So again, we call that a reflection over the y-axis. All right, guys, that's it for this uh, lesson. Hopefully you have some success trying out your uh, practice questions for exercise two. Good luck.